difference. Now, um, when looking at, looking at the form that I gave you guys, what we discussed is when you have two cores that intersect, Kaylee, what we understood by looking at this, Kaylee, was that the product of WS times SY is equal to the product of ZS to SX, correct? So let's go and write that out. WS times, I'll call it YS, is equal to the product of ZS times, times XS. Does everybody agree with me? I just rewrote what the answer was. So everybody at least should have written that down because that was in the notes that I just gave you. You have the product of their two chords when they're cut up are equal to each other. So now we just got to write in what each one is. WS is x. YS is x plus 12. Equals ZS is x plus 6 times SX is x plus 2. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when you have a um, you have an expression multiplied by a binomial, we have to make sure you apply distributive property. That, makes, that means that this x, I'm going to multiply times both terms inside it. So therefore, x times x is not 2x, it's x squared. x times 12 is, um, is equal to a positive 12x. Now, when I'm doing a two binomials, we also have to do um, distributive property again. But we kind of come up with some different uh, names for it or different ways to do it. And one of those ways that we practiced in Algebra 1 was by using FOIL. <coughs> Where you multiply the first terms, the outer, the inner, and then the last. Right? And all FOIL is is applying the distributive property. So if you want to apply the distributive property, notice the first term multiplies by the first, first term multiplies by the second. Second term multiplies by the first, multiplies by the second. So that's all I'm really doing. So x times x is x squared plus 2x plus 6x, plus 12. Now I can combine the 2x and the 6x to give me 8x. So, did I lose anybody on what I did with that? Yes, Alex. Question? No? OK, so now I got to get the x's on the same side. So it doesn't really matter which side you want to get them on, but we got to get them on the same side. So I'm going to get all my x's to the left side. So the first thing I'll do is I'll subtract x squareds on both sides. And what's nice about this problem is I don't have to factor because x squared minus x squared gives me 0 x squared, which is non, um, means it's not going to be around. That goes out as well. So I'm left with 12x equals 8x plus 12. Again, get the x's on the same side. So I subtract 8x on both sides. And I get 4x equals to 12, divide by 4, divide by 4, x equals 3. Kaylee, you didn't have this written down. Kaylee.